How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, many know that this is our, I choose to call her our royal daughter, Corinne Gaines. And some already know that um, she won in the civil trial, bless her heart, and her family will be awarded $37 million. So um, anyway, my royal family, I wanted to point that out first. And I also wanted to say to the royal family, the pig that killed her, I could not find the picture at all. They made a point of not showing it. Even the various news clippings I was looking at, various videos. So if anybody can find the picture of, I think his name is Rudy, I don't even know the fucker's name. Anyway, if anybody can um, find that, please uh, send me a link. Anyway, we all, most of us know what went down. And there was, um, I think, about a four-hour standoff. I think that's what it was. And they just assassinated her. And her son, Cody, he told it all. The motherfuckers was lying. He told it all. And I have to say, my royal family, as we begin this, I'm really impressed how the family carried themselves and conducted themselves. Because a lot of times we'll see us and um, there's no organization. You know, they want to put the spotlight on the mother, hope she get the hooping and hollering, saying, but Jesus and I forgive you and all of that. That didn't happen like that at all. This family was very well grounded very a matter of fact about what they was doing now um, I want to first put a spotlight on the father now this video is from last year but it's important um, because the father is always left out the pictures like he don't even exist so let's hear what his father said um, and this was when was this done Excuse me, family. Let me stop that. For, why they, they shot. Stop that for a second. I was looking to see when this was done. Okay, September seventh, two thousand sixteen. All right. So let's hear what the brother has to say. First, I, uh, who who gave the authorization? Who said it was okay to take a shot with a, a five-year-old walking around the apartment? Uh, Corey Cunningham is the father of five-year-old Cody Gaines. In August, a Baltimore County police officer shot and wounded Cody while firing and killing his mother, 23-year-old Corinne Gaines. Police say she was armed with a shotgun. Police entered her apartment to serve warrants by kicking down a door. A tactical officer fired police say after a six-hour standoff when she threatened to kill police. Cody was hit in the cheek. His arm was injured. Uh, the round was in his face in his lower cheek, cheek area, and he also had uh, material in his arm. Like shrapnel in his uh, arm? I don't know. I wasn't there when the first operation went, was on, so I can't speak on that. All I know is I was told it was things in his arm, and now he has screws in his arm to uh, get his elbow back together. Unknown where the boy was in the apartment when the tactical officer fired. Police have declined our request for details. He's in the house. That's what really matters. He's in the household. Why, why shoot? Why, why do anything when it's a, it's a five year old running around? I mean, he's five. You shoot, he can do anything. He can run, he can, he, he can do anything. He's five. He doesn't know anything about that. All he, he is a loud noise, he's scared. And then, of course, he's going to run to his mom because he's scared. So why would you do anything like that with a five-year-old in, in the house? Lawyer Kenneth Ravenel represents Cody and his father. There's this total lack of transparency. You know? It's been 30 days plus, and we have been told nothing about what really happened. Attorney Ravenel notes the contrast between the Baltimore County Police handling of Corinne Gaines when they fired after six hours and 16 years ago when County Police had to handle the Joseph Palzinski hostage drama. Then they waited four days. Baltimore County Police again declined today to answer our questions. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV. All right, my royal family. Love news. Uh, Jane. I wanted to make a point of showing full respect to um, this brother, 
because often, like I said before, our kings are like, they don't even exist. And so, anyway, let's continue on with this next video. We're ecstatic about the decision. I mean, we've been waiting a long time for this day, and it took us a lot. It took a lot of hard work for us to get here. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of late night phone calls, uh, study groups, and everything. So we're very ecstatic about the decision here today, and and the verdict that was that that, that the jury came up with. Like what we want is constitutional policing. We don't want police uh, policing with a heavy hand or or a, a militarized bend. You know, we want them to be fair, we want them to have integrity, and we want justice. And if they can't do that, they shouldn't be a part of the police force. And Royce Ruby is just uh, just uh, exhibit A of the type of policing that we don't need in this community or in this county. And my family and my dream team, my dream team, because they collected the evidence that obviously wasn't available and even have a criminal trial, but they were able to collect evidence from officers who admittedly told the truth during deposition, but lied during the testimony during the courts of your know, period. I don't, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't understand how anyone could be so cruel to just extinguish a life knowing that it was wrongfully done and then try to hide behind a badge. And this is this witness for all of my sisters in the movement who've lost their children to police violence, some of them have never received justice, either criminally or civil. I just want to tell them that this win is for them. Now, it was the right decision, but I mean, I knew from you know, from the jump, you feel me? My sister, we're, we're, we're real smart. They was with my sister for six hours. She never, she's, she's not going to point the gun at her. She she knows what will happen if she point a gun at a police, and we knows what's going to happen. That's why I already knew, like, they fired upon my sister, you know, they killed her, like, they assassinated. I believe they came there to assassinate my sister. I mean, it reckless. It's, it was reckless. I mean, it was very reckless. It was careless. Like, you, like he said it, you know, throughout the um, testimony, his, his own testimony, throughout the whole day, Cody was right there next to my sister. So why would you shoot through a wall, knowing that, you know, you know, a baby is on the other side, basically, a young child? Because they do not care. They simply do not care about us at all. And I'm not expecting for them to care. Now my royal family, if you notice, everybody articulated themselves well. They made sure they lawyered up good and they made sure the lawyers were black. And I know they season. Now Corinne, she was not dumb. I've seen some footage of her last, well, no, a few days ago, where she was reading some deep stuff about this system and how we subjugated in this system. So this is rare to see a black family well-organized, mindful and willful about what they're doing because they came together. And you know they can't stand that her mother said that this is my dream team. So let's continue on my royal family with the next video. Check this out. Trial. A jury awards millions of dollars to the family of Corin Gaines, the Baltimore County woman killed by a police officer after a standoff. WJZ is live at Circuit Court in Towson. Rick Witter has reaction to this closely watched case. Rick? Denise, it's hard to describe what it's been like in the courtroom over the past three weeks with the drama, the emotion, screaming at times. This all-female jury, they sided with the family of Corin Gaines, and they awarded Cody $32 million. He was injured in this shooting. He watched his own mother get gunned down by police. Such a sad story, and tonight they are calling them a dream team of attorneys, and they say this is a win for anyone who's ever wanted justice. It's a civil trial that's played out like something from a movie. After three weeks of heated exchanges and drama, the family of Corin Gaines has been awarded $37 million. My daughter will never be back. I don't care how many dollars they owe, 38, $108 million. I couldn't get my daughter back if I begged for her. It was 2016 when Gaines barricaded herself inside her Randallstown apartment, cradling a shotgun and her five-year-old son. 
After a six-hour standoff, Officer Royce Ruby Jr. said Gaines pointed that shotgun at his team, so he fired one shot through a wall outside her apartment, hitting Gaines and injuring little Cody. Ruby then went inside, where he claimed Gaines re-racked her shotgun, forcing him to fire three more shots. This man is a sick, misogynistic, evil person. The defense argued Officer Ruby was in a kill or get killed type scenario, but what the Gaines family calls their dream team of attorneys caught officers on the front lines of that standoff in lies with discrepancies between trial testimony and depositions and said Ruby's decision to fire was callous and heartless. This guy knowingly assassinated my daughter and injured my grandson to, I believe, beyond repair. While telling the all-female jury that Cody's scarred for life as he suffers from PTSD, he's a shell of his former self, they said. It's hard, and I might have to take that day by day and just try to at least get him back a little back, back to who he was before this happened. It only took the jury a few hours to deliberate three weeks worth of testimony and evidence, awarding the family millions. A verdict they say makes a statement like never before. This is a great statement on behalf of many who have been victimized by police officers. Corinne is smiling today, posthumously. She got her day in court. And Baltimore County Police say Officer Ruby will not face any discipline because the shooting was ruled justified by the state's attorney previously, of course. And then the county attorney, Mike Field, he released a statement saying in part tonight they are disappointed in this verdict. They are now exploring all options, including an appeal. Live in Baltimore County tonight, I'm Rick Ritter reporting for WJZ. Okay, so we hear in the real. This is what they always do. They don't want us to have a quarter. They want to continue to terrorize us. And even though they're reporting this, it fucks with them that we're going to receive money for, unquote, their misdeeds. And um, Rudy, that's the name I heard, the pig that killed her, oh, he will fail. He got to deal with universal law, God's law. So we can't, we, we see, we should expect them to do what they are doing in their system. Everything that they, and I say this often, I know it's going to piss y'all off. Everything that they did, they were supposed to do. They were supposed to kill her. They were supposed to shoot at our royal son. They supposed to um, find any way to keep their people out. They supposed to do all, everything in this system that they created. This unquote cesspool and shithole. Yes. That's what they're supposed to do. So, the question that I asked the royal family, what are we supposed to do? Because they're doing their part. Our father is doing his part. We need to do our part. And overcome whatever the fuck we got to overcome. Because we've been affected by this system. So anyway, my royal family... Uh, the last video I want to show y'all, this further show you how they can't stand when we win, when especially we are awarded money, because you know what money means to them. Money is their God. So check this one out. In the wrongful death civil trial of Corinne Gaines, the family awarded tens of millions of dollars. WJC is live at the Circuit Courthouse in Towson. Rick Ritter has breaking details for us. Rick? Well, Vic, this is certainly a bombshell announcement. The family of Corinne Gaines has been awarded $37, $37 million, most of that money going to Cody Gaines, $32 million to be exact. We just heard from the all-female jury a short time ago when they put their verdict in. They found that Officer Ruby's first shot, the very first shot that he fired from outside of Corin Gaines' apartment, was not objectively reasonable. They said the defendants violated Cody's rights, Corin's rights, and that they both committed battery against them. We just heard from the family and the attorneys a very short time ago. It was extremely emotional. The family saying that we had a dream team of attorneys, but saying this isn't enough. They want Officer Ruby fired. Here's what they had to say a short time ago. We're ecstatic. This was a long journey to justice, a lot of hard work, 
a lot of sleepless nights, phone calls, one, two, three o'clock in the morning like it was one, two, three o'clock in the afternoon. The jury did their work. They came up with a verdict that they believed was fair. They came up with an award that they felt was just. And we don't have anything else to ask. Again, $37 million awarded to the family of Corin Gaines after this verdict has come in. Just to give you a quick breakdown, that's $300,000 for the estate, $300,000 for mom, another $300,000 for dad, $32, $32 million awarded to Cody, $4.5 million awarded to Corinne's daughter, Carson. And you just heard from Jay Wendell Gordon right there. He also added that Officer Ruby, he called him a very sick individual, an evil person. And again, tonight, the family and Jay Wendell Gordon, the other attorney, Ken Ravenel, all calling for Officer Ruby to be fired. Live in Baltimore County this afternoon, I'm Rick Ritter reporting for WJZ. Okay, Rick, thank you very much. Of course, WJZ will continue to follow reaction to the verdict. All right, my royal family. You see how the motherfuckers is? Um, always worried about what we get. Always worried about our coins. You know, they can't stand it. You don't hear them. You you know, you'll hear that, okay, this family been awarded, blah, blah, blah. But you don't never. Have, that's the first time I have ever heard the breakdown. These people are so disingenuous. So I'm happy for the, the family. Like I said, I was very impressed how the family conducted themselves. And the father, too, as well. I don't want to lose sight of the father at all. At all. So my royal family. Render your voice with your beautiful, divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe.